Welcome to the 51st video in our series on using Unix tools. I've completed adding the commands that you should know to this file. These commands were explained in the previous two videos, except for this one. This is one that I haven't shown you. And this is one I haven't shown you. So, let's talk about them. If you do the hat key, which is the shift key with a six, it will move to the first non-blank character on the line. And so, on this line, let, let's say uh, we're here. If we do a hat, we should go to the L, and we do. You can also jump to a particular column number. So if we turn on the ruler, and you can see on the lower right, you see 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That tells you the column number you're in. 6789 that's the line number so if I wanted to jump to column 27 I can type in 27 and then the pipe key the vertical bar and you'll see that will jump me to column 27 to jump to a line number we already saw that but uh, let's turn on some line numbers if we wanted to jump to line 18 we can do a 1 8 and a shift G and we'll be at the beginning of line 18. That's shown here. And the hat character is shown here. And the pipe character or the vertical bar character to jump to a column is here. Let me turn off the numbers. And turn off the ruler. Those <clears throat> switches will be explained in a later video. But I just needed them to show you what's going on. With the commands shown right here that you can see in this file, you can use VI to view or look at any file pretty easily. But, of course, there's more you could learn. Observing is from this cursor to the beginning, and then we learned how to several ways to add new text. We did the Shift A, which will append to the end of the line. Let's take a look. If I type in Shift A, you notice it goes to the end of the line, and I said press Enter, and you could type whatever you want to type. I is different. If I put an I right here, I, and then I type X, 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 you see it puts it right there right before the cursor and then R would allow me to change any particular character if I wanted to change this to a K this letter C to a K I could type R K and it becomes K and you might wonder you've you've seen me do something that doesn't undo that wasn't explained in the previous video and I haven't told you how to do an undo so let me add that to this file. Undo last change. And so to do that, you use the U key. And if we wanted to line this up a little bit nicer, I'd do an I space, 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 space. And then I'd go L, 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 X. And I've got things nicely aligned. You notice. On this line, I seem to have spaces on the end of the line, but on this line and this line, I do not. How can I see the spaces? That's right. We learned how to do that with Nano, but we haven't learned how to do it here. There is a way. You can do set list, and now you see the dollar at the end of each line, and it becomes apparent that I could delete those trailing spaces and then no list will turn that off. It also will show tabs when you do a set list. You notice here I've used spaces like a good person should. 
But some people, they're in love with the tab key. And again, you see the cursor jump, but it's you can't really see the tabs. When you do a set list, you'll see that hat I represents a tab. And then you can you can do the things you normally would. You could do an I dog and it puts it in there. You can do an X to remove the tab. You could do a U to undo that last action. And we can delete that and put some spaces back in like we should and then turn off the no lid. Okay, so there you go. We've got a pretty good start. We can add new text, we can remove existing text, we can move around the file anywhere we want to move around. Is that all there is to VI? No, of course not. That's about 1%. So how do I save the changes I've done? I told you last time you could hold the shift key and do ZZ, but that's going to exit VI. If I want to save the changes, but not exit so that I can keep working but I want to make sure everything in memory is stored on the disk what can I do well there are several options but this is the best one colon w bang or colon w exclamation point you'll notice that whenever I hit the colon it jumps to the bottom line of the screen and waits for input and so we have the W, the bang, and you need to press the enter key to make that command go in. If I just press escape right now, that, that magic command doesn't run. Right? But if I do colon W bang and I press the enter key, which I'm going to do now, aha, it tells you that it was written, 25 lines, 1137 bytes were written, and it tells you where they were stored. And it knows the name of the file because when we started, it had a name. What if I want to save to some other file? You can do that. I could save to Bob is Fat. Enter. And it says I put it in Bob is Fat. And it's a new file. And now if I... If I make some change, let's make some change, change, and then I save, where is it going to go? Is it going to go into Bob is Fat? Is it going to go into video 51? Look at the bottom left and you'll see it goes into video 51 because that's the name of the file that we open it with. Let's undo that change with a U and resave. Okay, looking pretty good. How much can we undo? You know, how much undo do you get? VIM has unlimited, you know, if you have enough RAM, unlimited undo. Real VI only has one level. And so if you're not sure what kind of VI you have, <clears throat> you only get one level of undo with traditional VI. With VIM, by default, you get unlimited. Okay, let's exit this file, and I'll use the shift ZZ since that's easier. Let's take a look at our files, right? Long listing in reverse order by time, modify time. Uh, I want the directory name, don't look inside the directory. And, you know, show me all the files, even, even the weird dot files. And if I do that, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, here's the Bob is Fat, and here's the video 51. We don't really need Bob is Fat, so we can use rm, the remove command, to get rid of Bob is Fat. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. But, you know what's going to happen. You're going to go into video51.txt someday and you're going to come down here and you're going to accidentally hit the wrong key and maybe, you know, you do a couple of those and you do that 
and maybe you know you do that and you say I don't want this I don't want I want to exit and not save I haven't told you how to do that how can you exit and not save exit and forget any changes do not modify the data on the disk there are several ways the safe one use the colon and then say quit and use the bang the bang says I really mean it don't ask me any questions don't ask are you sure just do it and then press the enter key colon Q bang and the enter key and if we look you notice the old modified time was 1633 you know and there it is of course that was sort of a silly command since we know exactly the file it gives the same output but you can see it didn't get modified and if you were really worried and you wanted to see the seconds and the microseconds you could use stat and look at the modify time and this shows you all that information we've run out of time in this video please come back for our next video I'm going to continue talking about VI and I'm going to show you how to search for things inside a file but for now we're done thank you for listening